Good morning, everyone. It's 7.22 in the morning, Friday, September 13th. Friday the 13th? Oh my gosh, it's my interview day. I come and I lay down my burdens I know that I do not deserve it But you took it all with your purchase So God, I will search for your purpose I have to be there by 8, so right now I'm just waiting for the food to arrive. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest that's will be done whatever is gonna come out it's gonna come out so right now i'm getting ready i've only like polished my uh, my right eyebrow as you can see this one has not been polished yet and i'm gonna wear this top that i got really cheap my favorite skirt okay i'm charging my phone actually <laughs> but um yeah so yeah, I don't really know what to say, but I'll let you guys know what will happen later. Major nervous that I got hold guys. So I'll see you soon and yeah, I'll update you soon. Bye for now. Hey everyone! Hi, KK. <laughs> <laughs> guys, the interview is finally done. Where's my tripod? Let me just quickly move. So guys, tapos na yung interview ko. Praise God. I passed the interview, the U.S. tourist visa interview. It's my very first visa ever. Kasi I've only traveled to Singapore and Hong Kong. Hindi ko inexpect na na papasa ko because there were some things that happened during the interview that made me think I might not pass. But I will be talking about that in another vlog. So right now, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who prayed for me. Thank you to KK. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I will be doing another vlog where I'm going to talk about everything in detail because hey, you guys need to prepare for your US tourist visa. I'm not going to scare you with any story, but I will tell you what really happened in there. Everything I've heard, everything I've experienced, so you two can also prepare for your US tourist visa interview or whatever visa interviews that may apply. Hey everyone, so I just walked all the way from my hotel to here at the Rizal Park. It's so nice. My gosh, I have to say Manila has changed a lot since the last time I came over here. Kasi nung time na yon, sobrang daming basura on the streets. But right now, as you can see right behind me, the highway, ang linis na guys. Sobrang linis na talaga. So much improvement. Feeling ko dahil kay Tatay Digong, kaya na ganito. Ganito na yung itsuro ng Manila. But overall, um, thankful for all the Filipinos who really worked so hard to make the change happen. Tingnan nyo. So someone's standing over there and he never moves. He just stands over there. And someone's over there as well. Binabantayan lang nila yung monument and I'm just amazed. Kasi akala ko talaga parang, you know, just a normal monument na pwede akong pumunta doon, magpa-picture. Pero wala, hindi pwede. So, up to here lang, as you can see. Something about this park that makes me feel my Filipino ness <laughs> by being a Filipino, and it's good. It's long. Meron na kung nafilala dito. Sure ako na ring ko to sa book. Meet Francisco. Ah, di ko magalit. Francisco to. Oh no, my colors. So gusto ko magride yon. Francisco Dagohoy. Enraged by the refusal. I'm not a very history buff person, but I've admired these people for helping us rise against our oppressors in the past. So that's what it is. I want to ride that, but I'm going to go to KK. Happy birthday, KK! 
here at Beware of Birds. So before I check out, I'm gonna show you where I'm staying at because they really, <laughs> they really deserve a credit. They've been doing so well in their job of being a hotel. Oh my gosh, I love their app because it enables me to talk to the people at the front desk very easily, very quickly. I can chat with them anytime I need them. So I'm actually staying at Red Planet. It's not sponsored or anything. I paid for my room. Let me show you inside the room, room tour, even if it's gonna be very messy. Be right there. Opening our room. And ta-da, messy room. <laughs> I love their blower here. It's very helpful when you're in a hurry. Window, trash in this little corner. Pero guys, promise, maganda talaga yung room bago pa kami pumasok dito. Eh kasi ngayon, magulo na eh. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na. But here, I really love this part of the room. It lets me see the Manila Bay out there. Hindi ko pa alam kung saan ako matutulog tonight. So, sabi ni KK, magdadala na lang daw ako ng maleta ko, ala Daniela. But yeah, we'll see. So, we're gonna start hunting now. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye! Because they're still checking our room if there's anything that needs to be, you know, taken care of. I'm going to sleep in the living room because my friend is going to be visiting. Finally, I'm here, settled in after forever. After the living room, the mga bayani, we went to SMR premiere. Thinking that we could just grab a car easily to get to our next destination, which was supposed to be in Makati. Pero ang nangyari guys, grabe, naghintay kami dun for many hours. Wala akong mag-grab. Hirap akong mag-book kasi yung date ako hindi gumagana. Thank God for ways kasi nai-lead kami dito sa somewhere na malapit. Wala na kasi talaga akong choice. Sobrang napagod na ako. Parang ayoko na. I just wanted to stay somewhere. I don't care where. I don't care how much I spend. Basta hindi naman too much. Um, so yeah. Nandito na ako ngayon and kinain ko na lang yung leftover namin kanina kasi wala na silang food. It won't be available until 7am tomorrow kasi up to 2pm lang yung meals nila. And yeah, I really like the room and I'll do a tour after I eat this look. Para kong dog guys, yan nila yung food ko. Like, yun yung mga takeout from this morning na hindi ko na ubos before the interview dahil sobrang kaba. Then, from the lunch time na sobrang busog na kami ng friend ko na si KK, hindi na namin naubos yung food. But I'm thankful, I'm just thankful I'm able to sleep tonight. Gonna, I'm gonna be alone though because KK needs to go to work. This is the bed where I'm gonna be sleeping in. There's a place where you put all your clothes. Tapos nandun yung mga gamit ko. Yan yung damit ko kanina. Whatever. I don't really like the floor. Um, there's the mess. There's my stuff. Safe. That's it. Hi, SM. <laughs> the safe is so cute. It looks like a toy. It almost looks like a toy. So there's a two bed. So it's actually good for three people. Tomorrow morning, I'll go around BTC, hoping that I could get to Sunny's Cafe because I really want to see that place. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night for now. I'm going to try to sleep. Bye.